Okay, guys, I wanted to talk about this Donald Trump situation this morning. I was in McDonald's early this morning and met some interesting people in there. But the thing that shocked me and the thing that I got to spread right now is a warning to everybody. Um, it's being more and more evident now that Trump has won, that the Democratic, so-called Democrat, has won, the, uh, the Republican has won, the Democrats' um, whole agenda is starting to be exposed, man. It was a Democrat who got on the uh, television this morning and was still talking negative towards uh, Trump, but he, indirectly. He was saying that um, Trump's campaign is going to uh, make things bad, is going to take away uh, the homosexuality agenda, yeah. it's going to make them go back in the closet, and... It's going to make the women um, go back home and start cooking. And I stopped and paused and said, this guy is an enemy to America. He's an enemy to civilization. He's actually talking against women. Who's going to cook if the women don't cook? Seriously, that's not a discriminative or a, a feminist, uh, a male chauvinistic um word um a question i'm asking you who's gonna cook if the women don't cook think about that we was made different we was made for different purposes that's why we have big muscles there's illnesses and stuff that women are starting to get because of living like men emotionally and physically women are not ready to be men so this guy is talking backwards so you want the women to train to be the breadwinners while the men stay home. Somebody got to stay home. Or is he just saying that he don't want the family life altogether? He want to change the whole uh, scope of where the family is or how the human survive. So he want to take away the identity of family. So I'm just warning everybody, man. People out here tripping, man. So uh, keep your eyes open, you know. This man Major has, debt of gratitude for her debt. service to our country. I mean that very sincerely. Now it's time for America to bind the wounds of vision. Have to get together. See, to all Republicans and Democrats and Independents across this nation, I say it is time 